In this tutorial, we are just going to have a quick look at a workflow in our studio. Now, uh, when you're looking at doing a new project, whether that's a, you know, analysis of a research project or uh, maybe some work within a class or something, you should set up our studio to uh, create a new project file. So project files are a type of file in our studio that essentially uh, it's a directory. So it's, a, it's like a folder on your computer or if you're working in our studio cloud, it's a, a folder in the cloud and it has a file in it, uh, which has an extension .rproj that essentially stores some information about your project. Working with project files just makes life a lot easier. So uh, it will, when you uh, load up the project, it will restore the previous state of the project. And it also makes it slightly easier to work with grabbing data files. And the other thing is you can download the whole project, so the whole folder and share it with someone and it will just work. Um, so, you know, you can transfer it across different machines and things like that. So basically just use project files. So how you set this up depends a bit whether you're in RStudio Cloud or if you're working in, on your desktop. In RStudio Cloud, once you've logged in, you will see a screen, something like this. Um, so your workspaces are listed in a menu on the left-hand side. And then in the main screen, um, there's an area where you can set up projects. I have no projects set up at the moment. Um, if you want to create a new project, you click on this blue button and click on new R Studio project. There you go, you get a new R Studio project. If you look in the um, sort of navigation pane within an R Studio, you can see that it's telling you you're in R Studio Cloud, you're in your new project that you've just created, and you've got this .rproj file that I just said it would create. Uh, don't tamper with any of that, you've set up your project. If you wanna name your project, you can click up here where it says Untitled Project and just give it a name, My New Project. I mean, give it a more sensible name than that and hit return. There you go. So if you're in the cloud, dead easy. Having uh, set up your RStudio project, I would strongly recommend getting organized within your project folder. Um, as a sort of bare minimum within every project that I create, I would have a, a sort of a subdirectory or a folder within that for my data files. So I have a folder called data. I also always create a folder called R underscore docs, which is where I put my quarto documents or markdown documents or, you know, whatever, basically anything in, involving interacting with R uh, goes in that folder. If I have any images that I need to use or stuff like that, I'll put them in an images folder. And obviously as for different projects, I'll have different types of folders. But as a bare minimum, always have a data folder uh, or a folder for your data files and a folder for your R documents, I would say. It keeps your project nice and neat. So within R Studio to create those folders, uh, in the navigator pane here, there's a little icon that says folder. We can click on that and type in data to create a data folder. And you'll see that appears within our project. Click on it, it click on it again and have an R docs folder. And, you know, let's say we wanted an, a folder for some images as well. We could have an images folder, whoops. We could have an images folder. Anyway, you get the gist. That's how you create folders. Um, we might want to put some things in those folders. So for example, we might want to put some data in those folders. And if you're um, in RStudio Cloud, the way you would do that is you navigate into the folder. So you can see here, I'm gonna click on data, that takes me into the folder. And then you would click on the upload button. And, you know, maybe, you, you know, you have uh, a data file that you want to put in there. So I'm gonna to browse to a data file by clicking on browse. And that's taking me to my desktop. Um, and I uh, yeah, conveniently placed a data file on my desktop earlier on. So here's a CSV file called Edify. I'm going to select that and click on Open. So we can now see it's about to upload Edify CSV into my data folder. If I click on OK, there we go. It's in my RStudio project. 
So having copied any data files across your data folder or you know anything else you want in your project directory, you are all set up to start analyzing data. And to do that, you are gonna to wanna to either open a markdown file or a quarto file. And uh, I cover that in a different tutorial. So there's some tutorials on using the quarto visual editor. So go to them next. There's also some tutorials about using markdown if you prefer to do that. Okay, that's it.